Hey everyone, I made Agent AGI, now multimodal. We can upload images now. Using that, we're going to create tools to create detailed financial analysis JSONs, such as these, using PDF forms. We're going to create charts from financial data using Vision. We will also learn how we can create entire websites summarizing, summarizing financial PDF forms, such as this one and this one. So let's begin. Both files for this Agent AGI with Vision it will be available at my Patreon. To start with, Agent AGI has three tools create and add function tool, so it can create its own tools. Also, the ability to read files and ability to write files. That's it. So, we want to be able to uh, pass in some PDF files and actually get analysis from OpenAI. So, I'm just going to snapshot this and go to the image window and just paste it. So, you can actually paste stuff in here, drag images or upload images. So, now this is going to be in our context. And now I'm going to ask it to create a new tool using the image that we provided. We're going to ask it to create a new tool which reads PDF files. You want it to use PyPDF, then creates a detailed JSON analysis of it. Using JPT API call, uh, we do say GPT-40. Using JSON mode, please provide detailed JSON schema in system message for financial analysis, which writes to a JSON file. So as you can see, it used this create and write function to create an analyze PDF, and we have completely updated all the function definitions. So now if you come here, we do see that it has imported the right files, and it's going to open a PDF using PyPDF. Here is the system message it generated. Uh, it is not using the correct chat completions, but we can uh, fix this actually. And we do want to use GPT-40 because our definitions is going to uh, up update automatically with the agent uh, AGI script. Now we can just simply say, please analyze NVIDIA.PDF, which we already have here, which is NVIDIA's uh, 10Q form uh, right here, the latest. Now it is. it wants to use uh, the Analyze PDF GPT tool, which itself just written, and it's doing that right now. It's actually making a, a call to GPT-4 API. Okay, it says now it has saved, saved it to NVIDIA Analysis.json. So we can take a look at it and see uh, what the values were. So this is a, a financial analysis based on the Tank Q form. With a tool, it just created itself. So this tool that it has created will work with any PDF as long as uh, it's, it's going to extract this uh, entities from it. Okay, let's say here's the Q1 fiscal summary for 2005 for NVIDIA. Let's take a snapshot of this and paste it into our vision window and then come back to our script. Let's ask it to please create a beautiful plot with this and save it. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's creating a new tool, but uh, turns out uh, we don't have the necessary in pip in packages currently that is necessary for this tool. That is Seaborn. Now I made it so that it asks us which packages are missing and it asks us if we want to install them. Yes, we're going to go ahead and install Seaborn. Now, after it installed it, uh, it's actually, it has created its uh, function. We updated everything and now it wants to use it automatically. And now it says it has created, uh, it has done the plot and saved it to NVIDIA financial plot that PNG, this one. And this is what the plot looks like. This video uh, will be more of a preview of the agent AGI. I'm still working on the code and removing the kinks. The code is available at my Patreon for Architect Plus patrons. Link is in the description, but I will be doing a code review video sometime next week, hopefully. Okay, now let's ask it this. Can you please read media.pdf and create a beautiful HTML page using Tailwind, dark mode, summarizing and explaining. Uh, the details of the PDF file include charts. Write this to an HTML file. Okay, actually it decided to use the analyze PDF with GPT with input tool. Let's see what happens actually because this tool automatically reads PDFs. And now it wants to actually read the analysis.json. It also created a plot for us. Okay, now it wants to write it to NVIDIA summary.html. Let's see what this looks like. 
Okay, so this is the summary that it had created, including the charts. And so it was actually referring to the charts that it had created. We just created a little bit ago. So this is pretty lovely. Here, as you can see, with the entire breakdown of the PDF document and with the financial performance chart, along with the conclusion. Now, we could have actually explicitly say to not use the analyze tool, but since it had that tool, it decided to use it, which actually worked out fine. Let me show you one more interesting thing that it can do. Here in this help.txt file, I have a sample call to uh, Perplexity API for web search. Let's first create a tool so we can search the web. Okay, let's ask it to read the help.txt and create a web search tool with Perplexity. It's reading uh, that file. And now it's creating the tool. Let's actually review the tool and make sure it is, uh, doesn't have any errors. Okay. So it's going to detect the API key from environment variables. That's good. It's going to pass in the query. This actually looks all right. So now we can ask something like this. Okay, let's ask perform separate searches for financial numbers for NVIDIA from 2020 to 2024 and create a detailed HTML page for it with charts and write it to file. So it wants to perform this query, NVIDIA financial numbers, probably asking for 2020. So it's going to perform, I believe, four uh, or five searches. Uh, so it's doing it all on its own with separate uh, queries for each year. Okay, we're done searching. Now it's probably calling to create uh, HTML page. Yeah, it's actually, uh, it wrote it to NVIDIA Financials 2020-2024.html. Let's take a look. There we go. So this is uh, what it looks like. So lovely. So this was done with real searches, real time uh, from the internet. So this website should be pretty up to date as far as its information. And we can see that NVIDIA is doing really well year over year. Uh, thank you for watching. So this is Agent AGI. I'm actively developing it. Uh, you can download it from my Patreon if you're already a patron or by becoming a patron. It is available for Architect Plus members. I also have tiers for one-on-one -on -one meetings if you like to consult with me or ask me questions or need help with your AI-powered applications. Check those out as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects. As a patron, you will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also, the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well.